Okay, readers, welcome back. So for today's read aloud, I wanted to read this really beautiful book that our former president Barack Obama wrote to honor his daughters. It was really important to him for them to know, for his daughters to know, Sasha and Malia to know, that he sees a lot of amazing qualities in them that enable them to be brave, beautiful, and amazing young ladies. And so I wanted to read this book to you to remind you that not just me, but Mrs. Correa, Ms. Dusevich, right now the other Mrs. Correa, also see these amazing qualities in you. Because to reiterate what I said in our other read aloud about the smallest girl in the smallest grade, I see, or I have seen, all of you show, demonstrate an amazing ability to be kind and compassionate and brave. And I wanted to remind you through this read aloud that I see other qualities in you too that make you amazing people, amazing students. So I'm hoping that even though this is a letter to Barack Obama's daughters written by him, I want you to sort of see it as a letter from us to you as well because we have been truly humbled and really just honored with all the work that you have done this summer, especially through distance learning. We know that it's incredibly difficult and right now it's an also incredibly difficult time with what is happening that I really just want to commend you for all the work that you're doing. So again, this is Barack Obama's of the icing, and he wrote it for his daughters, Sasha and Malia. Barack Obama of the icing, a letter to my daughters, illustrated by Lauren Long. Barack Obama of the icing, a letter to my daughters, illustrated by Lauren Long. Have I told you lately how wonderful you are? How the sound of your feet running from afar brings dancing rhythms to my day? How you laugh and sunshine spills into the room? Have I told you that you are creative? A woman named Georgia O'Keeffe moved to the desert and painted petals, bone, bark. She helped us see big beauty in what is small, the hardness of stone, the softness of feather? Have I told you that you are smart? Did you braid great ideas with imagination? A man named Albert Einstein turned pictures in his mind into giant advances in science, changing the world with energy and light. Have I told you that you are brave a man named Jackie Robinson played baseball and showed us all how to turn fear to respect and respect to love. He swung his bat with grace and strength of a lion and gave brave dreams to other dreamers. Have I told you that you are a healer? Sitting Bull was a Seuss medicine man who healed broken hearts and broken promises. It is fine that we are different, he said. For peace, it is not necessary for eagles to be crows. Though he was put in prison, his spirit soared free on the plains and his wisdom touched the generations. Have I told you that you have your own song? A woman named Billie Holiday wore a gardenia in her hair and sang beautiful blues to the world. Her voice, full of sadness and joy, made people feel deeply and add their melodies to the chorus. Have I told you that you are strong? A woman named Helen Keller fought her way through long, silent darkness. Though she could not see or hear, she taught us to look at and listen to each other. Never waiting for life to get easier, 
She gave others courage to face their challenges. Have I told you how important it is to honor others' sacrifices? A woman named Maya Lin designed the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to remember those who gave their lives in the war and the Civil Rights Memorial to thank the many who fought for equality. Public spaces should be filled with art, she thought, so that we can walk amidst it, recalling the past and inspired to fix the future. Have I told you that you are kind? A woman named Jane Addams fed the poor and helped them find jobs. She opened doors and gave people hope. She taught adults and invited children to play and laugh and let their spirits grow wide. Have I told you that you don't give up? When violence erupted in our nation, a man named Martin Luther King taught us unyielding compassion. He gave us a dream that all races and creeds would walk hand in hand. He marched and he prayed and one at a time opened hearts and saw the birth of his dream in us. Have I told you that you are an explorer? A man named Neil Armstrong was the first to walk on the moon. He watched the world from way up high, and we watched his lunar landing leaps, which made us brave enough to take our own big, bold strides. Have I told you that you are inspiring? A man named Cesar Chavez showed farm workers their own power when they felt they had none. The people were poor, they worked hard and loved the land. Cesar picketed, prayed, and talked. The people listened to their hearts and marched for their rights. Si se puede, Cesar said. Yes, you can. Have I told you that you are part of a family? A man named Abraham Lincoln knew that all of America should work together. He kept our nation one and promised freedom to enslaved sisters and brothers. This man of the people, simple and plain, asks more of our country, that we behave as kin. Have I told you to be proud to be American? Our first president, George Washington, believed in liberty and justice for all. His barefoot soldiers crossed wintry rivers forging ever on. He helped make an idea into a new country, strong and true, a country of principles, a country of citizens. Have I told you that America is made up of people of every kind? People of all races, religions, and beliefs? people from the coastlines to the mountains, people who have made bright lights shine by sharing their unique gifts and giving us the courage to lift one another up, to keep up the fight, to work and build upon all that is good in our nation. Have I told you that they are all a part of you? Have I told you that you are one of them and that you are the future? And have I told you that I love you? The end. So readers, we didn't work a lot today on comprehensional skills because I really wanted to focus on the message that Barack Obama was sending to his daughters in this book, in this letter that he wrote to them. Because it's a similar message that I want to share with you. That I want to make sure that you understand. You all have these amazing qualities within you. To be the best people you can be. To be a friend, an ally to other people who need you to be one. 
things are very confusing right now. And I wanted to make sure that you understood that within each one of you, you have the power to speak up and be incredible. You will have uniqueness, talents, and kindness within your hearts. And I know that you have a bright future. Things are confusing. Things are not the best right now. But I also see that within everything that's going on, people are coming together and sending a strong message that we are here to make a difference. And I know that to be true because I've seen it within all of you this year in our classrooms. You want to make a difference. And I know that you will. So to reiterate, we love you. We know that things will get better because you are going to make things better. So I can wait to read with you next week. Remember that Mrs. Correa is doing another read aloud this Friday and she's going to be posting up a video for a read aloud tomorrow. So I can't wait to read with you again next week. Bye-bye.